This is the third video on Fresneo. In the last two videos, we covered Fresneo's current silver production and expected growth. In this video, we will look at a cost breakdown of Fresneo's silver production. Fresneo's 2012 annual report states that the amount of silver Fresneo sold from production was approximately 34.5 million ounces. Section 4 of the 2000 annual report covers the revenues from that year broken down by Fresneo's four main products, silver, gold, zinc, and lead. In 2012, Fresneo grossed about $2.287 billion before refining charges were subtracted out. Out of that, about $1.84 billion, or 47.41%, came from silver. About $1.1 billion, or 48.91%, came from gold. And about $83 billion, or 3.5%, came from zinc and lead. Section 4 also gives the average selling price for silver, which can be confirmed by dividing the revenue of $1.84 billion by the amount of production of 34.5 million ounces. I took the consolidated income statement from the 2012 annual report and broke each cost down by metal. For silver and gold, I then divided each cost by the number of ounces produced to get a cost per ounce breakdown. I don't discuss the numbers for gold in this video, but they can be viewed along with the 2011 numbers for gold and silver on the spreadsheet. In separate sections, the annual report also breaks down the cost of sales and the expiration expenses from the consolidated income statement into specific costs. For those sections, I also broke down the cost per ounce for gold and silver. Finally, I combined the consolidated income statement with the detailed cost of sales breakdown and the expiration cost breakdown to give an exploded view detailed cost per ounce to produce silver. We'll look at the consolidated income statement first then the detailed cost of sales, the detailed exploration costs, and finally the combined view breaking down Fresnel's cost for silver production ounce by ounce. Because silver production accounted for 47.41% of Fresnel's revenue, I took the consolidated income statement from the 2012 annual report and multiplied each line item by 47.41%. I then divided each line item by the number of ounces produced to get a cost per ounce breakdown. Although I do not go over the numbers in this video, also on the spreadsheet is a cost per ounce breakdown for gold and also for both in gold and silver using the 2011 numbers. In 2012, Fresnel had a total adjusted revenue before cost of treatment and refining of about $2.287 billion with about $1.84 billion coming from silver the 31.43 cents per ounce. Treatment and refining costs were about 130 million, with a little over 61 million coming from silver, or $1.78 per ounce. In 2012, total revenue after treatment and refining costs was about 2.157 billion, with about 1.023 billion coming from silver, or $29.65 per ounce. Let's look at costs. In 2012, there were total cost of sales of about 800 million, with about 382 million coming from silver, or $11.09 per ounce. The annual report has a breakdown of cost of sales in a separate table. We will break down cost of sales item by item in a moment. Subtracting cost of sales from the total revenue after treatment and refining costs gives a gross profit of about 1.351 billion with about $640 million coming from silver, or $18.56 per ounce. There were administrative expenses of about $53 million, with about $25 million coming from silver, or $0.73 cents per ounce. There were exploration expenses of a little over $233 million, with about $111 million coming from silver, or $3.21 per ounce. The annual report also has a breakdown of exploration costs in a separate table we will break down exploration costs item by item in a moment. There were selling expenses of about 6.3 million, with about 3 million coming from silver, or 9 cents per ounce. There was other operating income of about 6.9 million, with about 3.3 million coming from silver, or 9 cents per ounce. There were other operating expenses of a little less than 18 million, with about 8.4 million coming from silver, or 24 cents per ounce. Subtracting the administration, exploration, and other costs from the gross profit gives a profit from continuing operations of about $1.047 billion, with about $500 million coming from silver, or $14.38 per ounce. 
There was also income from finance of about 12 million, with about 5.8 million coming from silver, or 17 cents per ounce. There was cost from finance of about 3.9 million, with about 1.8 million coming from silver, or 5 cents per ounce. There were foreign currency exchange rate hedging costs of about 8.4 million, with about 4 million coming from silver, or 12 cents per ounce. Subtracting these three final costs from the profit from continuing operations gives a pre-tax profit of about 1.047 billion, with a silver pre-tax profit of just under 500 million, or $14.38 per ounce. Taxes in 2012 were about 285 million, with about 135 million coming from silver, or $3.92 per ounce. Subtracting the tax from the pre-tax profit gives a net profit for 2012 of about 761 million, with a net profit of about 361 million coming from silver, and a net profit on silver production of $10.46 per ounce. That's the end of the first video. In the next video, we'll break down the detailed cost of sales and exploration cost tables. And in the final video, we'll take the consolidated income statement and replace the single line items for cost of sales and exploration costs with a detailed item by item breakdown to give an expanded item by item cost to produce silver.